what's up guys, TJ Fishing here and we missed like five fish. I don't know, they just weren't, I don't know what happened, but on a banjo minnow I got bored and I was just jinging on the shoreline and I hooked into this guy like right here, about a few inches away from shore. Um, pretty nice size bass for a pond, I mean, yeah, this it's is a small pond. I didn't, we didn't think there'd be anything in here. Last week he caught a 20 inch bass in here. Yeah, the, the, this bass is some pretty um, nice bass, like uh, this oh. pond. There's the release, and um, we can measure it. I haven't measured it stick anything. Oh, that's fine. It's a good bass. It's heavy. Probably 17, 18. Oh, it's better. No. It's 17, 18 inches. So. I have a measuring stick over there for a measure. It's not 17, 18 inches. There he goes. That's our second catch of the day. Swallow it right and go. Right. We just cut it. It will, it will rust out. It's a small hook, so he'll be fine. Um, he's bleeding a little, but he'll be fine. It's about a 10 or 11 inch bass. He's fine. He swallowed the hook. He was bleeding a little bit, so. This is Joe's bass with the giant pond. bass in this for. pond. Kevin. Third bass of the day. You want to see? Dude, look at the size of that. Holy cow. Look at that fish. fishing and this is my bass that I caught um Jeff's taking off the line for me but this is probably about 12 inches you'd say maybe a little bit bigger pretty bit nice bass oh I threw it back in actually that might be a 14 incher just kidding <laughs> that was a good landing spot just toss it back in that's our fourth fish of the day. Hey guys, it's about Team J fishing. This is our fifth fish in here. <laughs> uh, I was using a fluke right on these little sticks, and he hit it right there. Yeah, we're, um, we're really sponsored by Rapala. There, there, keep going. I want to see if I can catch another one. TJ fishing and this is our sixth bass of the uh, day. I just got this guy in a fluke again. These flukes seem to be I yeah that big bass I'm gonna head over there and try and get him again. I tied my knot a lot better. Got this little dink um just in this little cove here along that little shore looking for minnows. I saw him surface. Hit it right away. White um albino fluke. Small um got a little bass. Probably around 13 inches I'd say. 13 there he goes. Yeah. You guys, this is our seventh bass today, and he caught it in the same area where he caught his 13 inch. It's a little like 10 inch dink. He's small, but it's still fish. He nailed it, like literally, like this fluke right here. Like I'm gonna release him right where I. Um, the fluke is such a great water, a like great, right just great freshwater bait. <laughs> yes, I just hey. caught a nice, probably like 13 inch bass. Nice. No, that, oh. that's probably a 15 actually. Yeah, 15 something. This is our ballers. Eighth bass of the day, actually. So yeah, thanks, Joe, for your. Uh, Joe gave me a um, your plastic that I used to catch him on. So uh, it's a nice one. So. What up, guys? This is our ninth bass today. Um, caught by Joe. On the fluke. Oh, He's calling a ton of bass today on flukes. There it is. Right in the top of the mouth. How long do you think that is? 13. 13 inches? 13, 14? Yeah. Nice job, half. Joe. What the heck is. Oh, it's a little cotton weight. Yeah. But here's the release. Um, nice pond bass here. We got the little cove. We seem been... to be all grouping in the coves really shallow. So we're just throwing flukes all around the shore. And this is where you come up with. I had a huge bass. Yeah, you'll see the clip of that. Oh no, we didn't get it. No, no, no. But, oh, you guys, this is our 10th fish today. This is about a 13 inch, 14 inch uh, bass, largemouth. And he was using a fluke to catch it with. This color right here? It was like a white fluke, I think. Right yeah. here, so you can see. Yeah. And he hit it right when I pulled it out of the water, so happy about that. He pulled it out of the water? Yeah, right when I pulled it out of the water, he hit it. Here. Release. Release off. 